Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and you are with me Kaushik and we are doing today T.S. Eliot. Actually, this is part of UKPSC lecture syllabus as you can uh, see here. So these are the topics I have covered in my notes and we are doing T.S. Eliot. So uh, if you wish to get all the notes, you can uh, contact me on my WhatsApp. So here, as you can see, T.S. Eliot on 43 page number. So this is the 43 page number. So I have uh, made these notes for uh, particularly uh, for completing uh, for history of uh, English literature part or uh, English literature part in UKPSC exams. So if you wish to get the all the notes, you can uh, contact me on WhatsApp. And let me tell you that these are not free. These are paid notes. All right. So uh, this topic I am going to uh, teach you about uh, T.S. Eliot and it will also give you some glimpses of my notes. So T.S. Eliot was uh, born in on 26 September 1880 and died in 1965. He was a major figure in English literature since 1920s and from 1970 he was also assistant editor of The Egoist. So remember this thing that he was assistant editor of The Egoist. He worked with Criterion in between 1922 to 39, uh, 39 and he launched a quarterly and edited by T.S. Eliot. It became the new Criterion in 19, uh, 1926. 1948 awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. He was awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in 1948. He brought a, um, a concept that is called dissociation uh, of sensibility. And here is one famous poem by T.S. Eliot and that is the love song of G. Alfred Prefrog. Uh, 1915 uh, was the year when it got and Pound encouraged for this work. So Ezra Pound was the person who encouraged him to write down the love song of the J. Alfred Perfrock in 1915. Perfrock and other observations was written in 1917 and this was his first volume of the verse. The first volume of the verse. It portrays in contemptuous and often wittily ironical it is kind of satire and the boredom, emptiness and pessimism of its own day. So you can see why we call Perfrock and other observation or T.S. Eliot uh, the leading point of uh, uh, modern, modern era just because of uh, the exact, uh, we can say he explained through his words and uh, works uh, the modernism concept. His poems got published in 1919 as well and there are four line stanza rhyming A, B, A, B, C, D. Now let's talk about a little the wasteland. If you want to study the wasteland in detail, you can check out my other video. The bur there are five parts, the burial of the dead, the game of chess, the fire sermon and death by water and what the thunder said. Here, protagonist is Tiresias and it is dedicated to Pound. Now, let's go to other notes. The Hollow Man, it got published in 1925. There are five moments and treat of hopelessness and emptiness of the modern life. The Journey of the Maggie in 1927 and Ash Wednesday in 1930. Finds a hope in the discipline of the Christian religion, six parts are six impression of the mental and emotional state. Four quartets, four quartets from 1935 to 42 in between uh, these years, four quartets were published and a poem in four parts. So first part was Burton Norton and which got published in 1936 and East Cocker got published in 1940, The Dry Salvage got published in 1941 and Little Getting got published in 1942 and as a whole it got published in 1944. Theme. What was the theme of Four Quartet? Theme of the Four Quartet was Time and Eternity, Exploration of Artistic Consciousness. Four Quartets represent four seasons and the four elements. 
Now let's go a little bit in depth about this these works. Bert Norton, which got published in 1936, was about imagery of the first centers on the coastal coastward coastward garden. Next one is East Cocker in 1940. It got published. It was uh, the scene is in Somerset village, and Dry Salvage got published in 1941, and he shows landscape of Missouri. Little Gidding got published in 1942, and it was about the home of the Nicholas Farrer. Even this is not uh, his part of his poetry, but you can uh, even see these things for Lancelot. Andrews in 1928 praises tradition, prayer, and liturgy. Sweeney Agonist 1932 was written by him and it was satirical work. I did not uh, show you this one for Lancelot Andrews 1922. The Rock Pasient uh, play. It was a play, so it was The Rock. It was a Pasient play 1934. Murder in Cathedral. It was a verse drama drawing on Greek tragedy, biblical imagery, you will see, based on martyrdom of St. Thomas Beckett, The Family Reunion, 1939, and he wrote also three comedies, The Cocktail Party in 1950, The Confident Clerk, Confidential Clerk in 1954, and The Elder Statements in 1959. And some of his essays are here. These are, again, uh, uh, important for other exams so this secret word or sometimes if we are just studying with syllabus and some questions are out of syllabus okay five to six questions we can add them out so the secret word essay on poetry and criticism contains the essay on hamlet coining the phrase objective correlative objective correlative was coined in the essay on hamlet by t.s Eliot. The selected essays and the use of poetry and the use of criticism, Elizabethan essays, After Strange Gods, The Idea of a Christian Society, Point of View, and What is a Classic, Classic, and Notes Towards the Definition of Culture, Poetry and Drama on Poetry and Poets. So, these, this is the example what I did, and whatever is important, I try to incorporate and i i keep on uh, revising my notes so if you wish to be with me and you wish to uh, uh prepare for your exam with me you can directly message me on my whatsapp thank you for being with channel bye bye take care good luck for your exams see you in next video